What is up bass fishing freaks? Luke Reeser here from Too Fat to Hunt Outdoors. So are you an avid bass fisherman, but you struggle with a bait caster? Or you can only sidearm a bait caster and you wish you could be like the pros and flip and pitch into cover? Well, I'm gonna show you in this quick video the skills you're gonna need to flip and pitch a bait caster. Do you want to be able to make that shot? Well, stick around and watch the rest of this video. Stay tuned, folks. Schlange hunting skill practice starts now. Okay folks, so you're only going to need a couple things to be able to do this. A casting rod, a casting reel, some line, and a jig. I got, this is a 7 foot heavy Cabela's Tourney Trail Rod and a uh, Gander Mountain Vortex Reel. If you uh, watch my rod, my rod review on this rod, which I'll link in the description below, you'll see the same, uh, same setup here that I used to dink around with when I was reviewing the rod. But uh, I think I got 10 pound uh, P-line copolymer on here right now. And a 3 8 ounce jig, this is just a cheap Arky jig from Walmart with an old missile D-bomb trailer. I cut the hook off. Um, actually, no, this one I did not. So I only use this one down in the shop. The ones I use in the house, I cut the hooks off. So I got a cat and I got kids, so. But basically what you need to do is if you're just starting at this you're going to want to go ahead and tighten everything up okay you don't you don't want this thing free falling if you see how fast mine falls pretty fast you probably don't want that so you want to tighten it all up all like that it's a slow nice steady drop otherwise if you're not used to a bait cast you're going to have backlash city and you're going to get ticked off and you're going to give up so when you make a flip okay I'm kind of goofy because I write with my right hand, I throw with my left. But uh, So most of you are probably going to flip with your right hand, which I can do both. Um, I've taught myself to be better with my left hand, but for the most of you who are going to flip with your right hand, you're going to hold your reel with your right hand, and you're going to want to palm your jig. Um, good guideline, go down about that far. You don't want to hold it back here because you're going to have too much line out, okay? So you want to hold the jig in your palm of your hand, push your button, and you're going to want to let your jig go. You don't throw it, you just let it go, okay? You can feel it pendulum. So the key to a correct flip or pitch, you know, this is not really technically flipping, this is pitching. Flipping is where you have your line out here like this and you go. We're not going to get into that. That's old school. I don't see very many people doing that anymore. It's certain techniques that does come in handy, but we're not going to go into that. So, palm your jig with line out to about right here. Push down, open your bale. Let that jig just free fall, just pendulum, okay? So, the, when you do this correctly, it's, it's all weight displacement is what it is. You're not throwing your jig out and letting it take off. What you're doing is you're letting your jig go and when that weight transfers to the end, you're gonna take your thumb off the spool and let it go, like this. And it's gonna go out. If you take it and you throw it, you're gonna end up with a mess and it ain't gonna go anywhere, okay? So it's all weight displacement. Once that jig gets out there, then you want to let your thumb out. And it's going to take time and practice. You do not learn this overnight. You're going to get frustrated. You're going to want to give up. Trust me, I've been there. You know, I watched a ton of videos over the years 
Fluke Master, Ryan Kennedy, um, G Man. I think Andy Montgomery has some. A lot of other smaller guys. Watch videos. Take a little bit away from every video. You know, I took certain things from each video and um, put them all together. Hopefully, what I've learned from their videos and what I've learned from myself, I can add in this video to help you make a better, make you a better flipper. So. You got this down when you release the jig wait till it gets to the end where it's it can't go no more it's going to want to start coming back up and that's when you let go because that's going to send that out send that out now when you get good at it you'll be able to do it without palming it i seldomly palm i just use all weight tra all transfer weight there but i've been doing this for a long time okay it also doesn't hurt to kick the kick the buddy rod out like this and you kind of want to hold your reel up, your rod up like this. Just shoot it. And it's not, you're not taking your hand and flinging it up. It's all in the wrist. It's a quick jolt of the wrist. See, if you, if you, you don't launch your arm up. So that's not the correct way to flip. It might not, it might work, but you're going to look like a fool out on the water. So when you launch that jig, just a quick flip of the wrist. There you go your arm should not really move if you're seeing your arm go up like that you're not doing it correctly your arm should move about that much if any at all all a quick motion in the wrist just like that when you're starting off do not worry about accuracy that will all come later just get the motion down get the Get the feel of the weight placement. It took me forever to get that down. I didn't know what they meant. And once you get that down, it's gonna come super easy. And then the accuracy will come after that. Just go out into like here, I got a wide open space and uh, just flip. Don't even look where you're going, just flip it. And I still do this. I spend, you know, roughly a couple hours a week at least just flipping around. Most of the time I'm you know, setting cans up and stuff. But I still, you know, I'll go out on my porch while I'm cooking supper, and I'll have meat cooking on the grill, and I'll have my bait caster there, and I'll just, won't even look where I'm going. Just flip it, you know, especially like the night before a tournament. Just getting in the field, you know, getting that field down. Flip, flip, flip. You're gonna wanna start, you're gonna, you'll get like your first couple of really good flips, and you're gonna probably wanna get a can because you think you're great work into it slowly otherwise you're gonna get upset you can start off with a quarter ounce if you want or a half ounce it's up to you I recommend starting out I, I did it with a quarter ounce because that's what I flipped a lot and I think that was a little harder because it was a lighter one 3 8 is pretty standard probably the best to learn with I think but if you can get that down that weight weight transfer that's the key to flipping weight transfer and flick of the wrist when that jig starts going out that's when you want to flip up and you want to have your rod tip pointing down let that jig go up she goes up she goes timing there's no better way to learn something than just practice 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 so kids trying to learn this, flip, flip, flip. You get tired, go in, play a couple games of Fortnite. I promise you, if your dad says, what are you doing? And you say, oh, I'm just taking a quick break from flipping a jig. I'm gonna play a couple games of Fortnite. He ain't gonna care. Dads, pack your lip full of Copenhagen, grab a blue smoothie, go out on the front porch, do some flipping. I will give you one piece of advice. Don't try skipping a jig on your new hardwood floors because your wife, she'll cut something off. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that now. Hit the bell so you get notified every time I put out a new video. Destroy that thumbs up button. Luke Racer signing off. Always remember, you're never too fat to fish.